checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests like the civil service exam of Cat Life Hills and all of those things. Today is part of our Ready Wednesday series. Although technically, it's not Wednesday ngayon. Pero gusto ko pa rin kasi gumawa ng lesson para sa inyo para maihabol kasi marami sa inyong mag-i-exam na on Sunday. And this is one of your most requested na videos when it comes to language. Ito yung difference ng has been, have been, tsaka had been. Now, I just want to clarify really quickly before I dive into this that this will be a really basic lesson. So, ibig sabihin natin isasama yung mga will have been, or would have been, mga ganon. Uh, we're going to stick to the basics. So, yun lang straightforward na has been, had been, at saka have been. And in order for me to discuss that better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so we're going to talk about the difference between had been, has been, and have been. Ito yung perfect progressive na, na tenses, no? Either present progressive or past progressive. Meron pang ibang mga parang outliers na rules, kunyari regarding sa pagta-travel, at saka regarding sa sa passive voice, pero hindi mo natin dadaanan yun ngayon, ito muna yung focus natin, kasi ito yung pinaka-building block niya. And I would argue na, kung okay na yung handle nyo dito sa topic na ito, the rest, pwede nyo nang ma-pick up ng really easy. So, ito muna yung focus natin, kasi I really wanted na may habol ito para sa mga malapit na mag-exam. Okay? Now, let's start with the basics muna. Yung has been at saka have been, actually, pareho lang sila na present perfect progressive forms. Ang pinagkaiba na would be when it comes to yung subject niya. Kung parang subject verb agreement, kung singular or plural. So, again, pareho sila ng tense, pareho sila ng, um, ng paggagamitan, pinagkaiba lang. Kung mag magkaiba ang subject, iba yung gagamitin mo. Okay? And I'll explain that further. Establish muna natin yung kanyang um, sitwasyon. So, ang has been or have been, gagamitin mo kapag nagsimula yung action or nagsimula yung event noon at nangyayari pa hanggang ngayon. With the potential na mangyari pa in the future, ha? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung nagsimula noon, ibig sabihin nag-start yung action in the past, tapos nagpapatuloy siya hanggang sa ngayon in the present. Kaya nga naging present, pres present perfect progressive. Kasi progressive, ibig sabihin may ing form, ibig sabihin nangyayari, and then present kasi nangyayari pa rin nga hanggang ngayon. Yun yung pinakamadaling clue. Now, a piece of advice sa uh, actual exam, hindi naman tatanungin sa inyo kung ano yung tense niya eh. Hindi tatanungin sa inyo kung present perfect progressive ba siya, kung past, pres, pa, pres, eh, kung present perfect progressive ba siya, kung past perfect, perfect progressive ba siya, kung simple perfect ba siya. Hindi naman necessarily tinatanong yan sa exam. So, if you're only here for the aptitude exams, I'd, I'd say na don't get too fixated on that, on yung terminology. Mas importante for you to recognize kung kailan siya tabang gamitin versus the other forms. Okay? Now, um, ang form niya, oh, ito yung pinaka parang form nila. Okay, like I said before na, no, uh, in my mind kasi everything is math. Uh, medyo related pa rin yung structure. Now, hindi ito sobrang perfect ha, pero ito yung common na form niya. And uh, I think if i-checklist ninyo itong mga bagay na ito, kung gagawin mo siyang checklist, mas madali mo madetect kung ang gagamitin mo ay has been or have been. So, ang form, has or have been, ito yung bin, bin natin, okay? Tapos you have a verb. Uh, an action word, so kunyari, uh, running, kasi may ing form siya, so running, writing, reading, okay? And then, ang kaduktong niya is for, tapos may specified na length of time. So kunyari, for three years, for five years, for two weeks, for two days. Or, another possible na form would be yung has or have been, yung verbing, so kunyari, again, walking, reading, and then since, and then you have a date. So, for example, since December, since 2015, so merong uh, period of time kung kailan nagsimula yung action, okay? An example would be something like this. So, kanyari, have been, ito again, and then we'll add a verb. So, kanyari, gamitin natin yung uh, verb na working. So, have been working, and then for, add a length of time, which would be three years. Or itong second form niya, which is have, has been, and then let's just put work, has been working, since, and then let's put a date, so 2012. So, ito yung kadugtong ng sentence. You have a subject in the beginning. Again, kung hindi flip yung sentence mo, no? So, 
Blank have been working for three years or Blank has been working since 2012. Ngayon, yung have tsaka has dyan, interchangeable yan ha. So, ibig sabihin pwede rin na has been working for three years, pwede rin have been working since 2012. Ngayon, kailan mo gagamitin ang has? Kailan mo gagamitin ang have? Okay? There is another question. So, first question is, nang, wait lang, yung nangyayari ba dun sa sentence? Nang, nagsimula ba siya noon at nangyayari ba hanggang ngayon? If the answer is yes, then you're going to use yung has been or have been. Now, has o have. Ang tamang sagot would rely on sino ba yung subject. Kapag ang subject ay singular, ibig sabihin isa lang siya, and again, you can refer to my video on subject verb agreement for this, no? Has kasi, di ba, obviously may S din siya, kasi kapag S, singular, may S din yung iyong pinaka-verb, okay? So, um... S pag singular, and if the subject is he, she, or it. Okay, yung he, she, or it, these are pronouns na singular ang uh, take niya. So, yari, he has been working for three years. She has been working for three years. She has been working since 2012. Okay, so sa sentence na ito, yun ang gagamitin mo. Ngayon, kung have naman, gagamitin mo siya kapag the subject is plural, and if the subject is we, you, or I. Now, bakit? Kasi ang we, obviously, okay, uh, maramihan yan. So, same din actually for they. Kasi ang they, maramihan din niya. Yan. Kasi ang they, marami. Marami sila, right? Hindi katulad ng he or she or it. Ang you, kahit na ang you can be used for singular or plural, ang take niya is still plural. Kaya, pag you, automatic have. Pag I, automatic have then. Which means, if you have a sentence like this, she blank working for three years, the answer would be, she, dahil she ay isa lang, she has been working for three years. Kung ang example na mo naman looks like this, so I, and again, ang I kasi ang count niya is plural, you would choose I have been working for three years. Now again, like I said, pareho naman sila ng form. Yung isa is um, just she, yung isa ay I. Pareho silang present perfect progressive. Okay, now, this may look really com uh, medyo complicated, no? And I have been looking for a way to explain this in an easier way. And that is why, uh, just wait until the end of the video. Papakita ko sa inyo yung parang flowchart, kung paano ko siya parang iniisip. So, I decided to kind of break down what goes on in my mind when I answer these questions. I'll teach you how to do it later. Pero ito yung pinaka-concept niya. And I really, really want you to pick up itong concept din na ito. So, again... Has been or have been, ganyan yan. Ganyan ang, yan ang line of questioning. Now, paano yung had been? Ang had been is actually yung past perfect progressive form. Ibig sabihin nun, the action ay nagsimula noon, nagpatuloy in the past, at natapos din noon. Ibig sabihin, ito ay action na nangyari in the past, nagsimula, tumakbo siguro siya for a period of time, tapos natapos din naman in the past. Okay? So, merong clue na natapos din siya. Okay, hindi katulad nung kanina, ang, ang present perfect progressive, nangyari siya, nagsimula siya in the past, pero nagpapatuloy hanggang ngayon. So, kung hindi umabot ngayon yung pangyayari, okay, then it would be past perfect progressive. In, thi in this type of uh, sentence din, meron ding dalawang actions. Yung dalawang actions is kung ano man yung nagsimula nung in the past, and then merong interruption, merong, may, na may nangyari, may parang tumapos sa kanya, or may nangyari habang nangyayari yung first action na yun. Um, the best way for me to explain this would be in an example, no? Now, itong form niya is like this, okay? So, may had been, magkahawig sila actually. If you look at this, familiar to kasi nangyari na to kanina, right? Had been verbing for length of time. Kaya lang, magiging had been siya or magiging past present progressive kapag meron pang isang second event pa na minention. May, may gumalo dun sa sitwasyon, Okay? Let me give you an example. So, ito. Had been blanking for blank. And if you stop here, this will be, kung ganyan lang ang nakalagay, okay, magiging, ha magiging has or have to. Kasi, putol eh. Kaya lang, dahil past perfect progressive siya, may kadugtong. May isa pang line na kasunod. Yun yung second event. So, kung bubuin ko siya, subject plus had been, 
working for, and then we put a length of time, parang kanina lang, so you put three years, so had been working for three years, and then you have a second event, which is when I decided to quit my job. So again, as you can see, may working, may nangyayari in the past, nagsimula in the past, nagpatuloy, pero nagquit na siya, so natapos siya after three years. So yung kanina, kaya siya present perfect progressive kasi hindi pa siya natatapos. Pag natapos na siya in the past, then it will be past present progressive. Ang pinaka kimo ya diyan is the second event. My second event kasi siya. Now, ano ang beauty naman din ng had been, wala siyang it doesn't matter kung singular or plural. Pwede yan na she had been working for 3 years when she decided to quit her job. Pwede yan na I had been working for 3 years when I decided to quit my job. Kahit ano, had lang din siya. Hindi ka mag hindi ka magpapalit depende sa sa uh, kung kung ang subject mo ay singular or plural. Okay? Example. So, I blank teaching for three years when I decided to quit my job. Again, it doesn't matter kung I yan o he or she. Ang sagot dyan would be dahil ang action ay nag, nagsimula sa past, tumakbo for some time, at natapos dahil may isa pang pangalawang event na nangyari, which is yung nag-decide siya na mag-quit. This will be, I had been teaching for three years when I decided to quit my job. Okay? So again, uh, if you look at it this way, Okay? Ang sentence na mas mahaba okay, ay yung past perfect progressive. Kasi yung present perfect progressive, hindi siya natapos. Walang second na event or second action na nangyari. Okay? Yun yung pinaka-clue mo. So, uh, hahanapin natin yun ngayon sa isang sentence, sa setting. Now, let's take this example. Okay? I'll show you the flow chart. So, what goes on in my mind when I answer this type of question. Okay? And um, I really hope you can kind of pick up on the clues. Okay? So, first question, um, dito sa sentence kasi, I blank training for the New York Marathon for three years. Unang question, may length of time ba dun sa sentence? Now, if you notice, dito sa sentence na ito, may nakalagay na for three years. So, dun sa tanong na yan, meron ka kasing yes or no. Kung no kasi, babagsak ka sa M is or R. So, automatic M is or R. So, I am training for the New York Marathon. Kaya lang, may three years, so, pupunta ka sa Yes. Kung merong length of time, the next question would be, tapos na ba? Ibig sabihin, tapos na ba ang training mo? Hindi ka na ba training May nag-interrupt mo sa training mo. So, three years ka training tapos may sumabog na vulkan, or three years ka training tapos um, na-injure ka. Eh, wala namang sinabing ganun, no? Ngayon, kung merong sinabing ganun, okay, sana ang bagsak mo na had been. Kaya lang, okay, in this case, wala namang sinabing second event. So, hindi na tapos yung training mo. So, you can assume na hanggang ngayon, nagte-training ka, hindi pa tapos ang training mo. Okay? So, kung hindi pa tapos ang training mo, ang next question would be, singular ba or plural yung subject? Now, again, tingnan natin, I siya, right? Ngayon, kung singular siya, or he, she, or it, ang bagsak mo kasi, has been. Kaya lang, dahil I yung iyong subject, magiging plural siya, I, you, we, tsaka yung ang, uh, they. So, ang mangyayari, ang bagsak mo is have been. Kaya in this sentence, okay, the answer would be have been. Kasi meron kang three years pero hindi natapos. So, ito ay actually present perfect progressive. Kasi nagsimula sa, sa past pero nagpapatuloy pa hanggang ngayon. Okay? Now, balitan natin yung sentence and then we're just going to follow the same flow chart. I'll show you, okay? Ito, same concept. Pinalitan lang natin yung cast of characters tsaka dilugtungan natin ng konti, no? So, ito, Daniel. Si Daniel ngayon ang bida. Daniel Blank training for the New York Marathon for three years. Again, unang tanong, may length of time ba? You see here, merong three years. So, yes, may length of time. Next question, tapos na ba? Now, wala namang nakalagay na indication na natapos yung training niya. So, you can assume hanggang ngayon, nagpapatuloy, nagta-training pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. So, this will be a no. Babagsak tayo sa no. Singular or plural. Now, ang sen sentence natin nakalagay si Daniel, isa lang siya, mag-isa lang siya. So, kung singular yung iyong subject, lilipat ka ngayon, babagsak ka ngayon sa has been. So, Daniel, C, has been training for the New York Marathon for three years. Again, yun yung line of questioning. Kaya, babagsak ka sa has been. Ngayon, palitan uli natin yung sentence, ha? Just so I can show you yung subtle differences between each of them. Paano ko ang nakalagay is this? Daniel blank training for the New York Marathon for three years when he got injured. So again, bagsak tayo. Simula tayo sa simula. May length of time ba? Kung kailan siya nagtitraining? Yes, kasi ito, three years, yan yung indicator natin. 
Ayon. Uh, tapos na ba yung action? Now, if you notice, sabi, he got injured. Ibig sabihin, na-interrupt or naputol yung training niya. Okay? So, nangyari in the past, nagpatuloy in the past, pero natapos in the past. May nangyari. Uh, may second event or second action. So, in this case, tapos na siya. Natapos yung training niya kasi na-injure siya eh. So, the answer would be yes. Ang bagsak natin would be had been. So, the answer here would be had been. Okay? So, again, maliliit na pagkakaiba, kaya you really have to practice really well. So, make sure that you stay until the end of the video. There will be a link to a quick quiz that I will post for you guys. Ando din yung explanation for the the quick quiz. And um, you can answer that uh, para mag-check ninyo kung nakuha nyo na yung technique. Now, uh, paano naman lalabas yung is? Let me show you yung different sentence. No? Ito, so Daniel Blank training for the New York Marathon. So again, the first question, may length of time ba sa sentence? Wala. Kasi walang nakalagay na for three years, walang nakalagay na, train, na for a week or anything like that. Walang indicator ng length of time. Wala rin since. So walang since February or since March. Walang ganon. So ang bagsak mo is no. So the answer would be is or are or in the case ng I am. Kaya lang, Daniel naman, isa lang siya. So the answer would be is in this sentence. Okay? So again, maliliit yung pagkakaiba. You really have to know kung ano yung difference nila. And the best way for you to do that is to answer the quick quiz. The link will be at the, the end of the video, doon sa end card natin. Hanapin yung thumbnail na nakalagay quick quiz. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo ka mag-exam din sila para mas malami tayo matulungan. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon para malaman nyo as soon as a new video posts. Kasi susubukan kong gumawa ng mas marami pang videos as soon as possible para maihabol pa sa inyong exam. So if you don't want to miss any of that, don't forget to subscribe. Now, um, if you are also interested to get this shirt that I'm wearing right now, ito yung uh, isa sa mga shirts sa ating team like uh, official merch store. The link will be down below. Adja, adja siya kasi ito yung lagi natin sinasabi uh, at the end of the video, parang war cry natin this, dito sa team like. So if you want one of these shirts, don't forget to click the link down below. Uh, itong mga proceeds nitong shirts na to will go into yung mini library slash learning center that we're building somewhere in Batangas uh, really soon. So thanks guys and uh, as always if you want to really shout to me directly, maybe get one of the reviewers that I made or join the online or live review program, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Thanks guys! Uh, never stop learning! Adja adja! Kaya niya! I'll see you in my next video and bye for now!